It's an additional 3% sales tax on recreational marijuana purchases. Surrounding cities and counties like Ozark and Christian County passed similar taxes in April. Sydney is live outside the Greene County Election Center explaining why this tax was not on the ballot earlier for Springfield voters. Ultimately, City Council decided to put it on the ballot in August because of all the other issues in races back in April, but they say it's not clear whether that decision could help or hinder the city. It's already been a $1 billion industry in the state of Missouri. Recreational marijuana, which became legal in February, has generated revenue not only for the state, but individual cities. I think the numbers are about $1.8 million just in the city of Springfield. It's why the city of Springfield is hoping voters will pass a 3% sales tax on purchases to help fund what Councilman Craig Hosmer is calling chronic problems. It would go to law enforcement first responders, but it would also be used for alcohol and drug treatment. It also would be used for mental health services, and it would also be used for uh, homelessness. The timing of putting it on the ballot in August is costly. We having to uh, eat the cost of $250,000 for this single issue election. Generally it costs them about $250,000 and that cost is split between the different uh, initiatives that are, are put on the ballot. I wish we could have put it on that ballot, but we didn't. The main reason City Council decided to not put the sales tax on the ballot in April was because voters were already deciding several other important issues. There was a, no, a number of initiatives that were out there. The school board had their initiatives. A lot of other candidates were running for office. Both Hosmer and McGoal expect voter turnout to be low today, but they disagree on how that will impact results. I have every anticipation or every you know, uh, uh, thought that this will pass. Sometimes people don't really understand uh, an issue or don't come out and vote, and that's the thing I'm concerned about. Hosmer says nearly 100 cities put a marijuana sales tax on the ballot in April. The vast majority were approved by voters. Reporting in Springfield, Sydney Moran, Color 10 News.